and I, I hope that you know now what is this week and the week is much more to give you an insight on the intensity as well as also the expectations of um, this year and given that this is a lot more uh, they almost all are from Ethiopia right Slazi? Um, if anyone doesn't understand Amharic, just let me know so that I can switch back to English as well. So I will just mix uh, in between. Okay. So, yeah, in the session, I will be a lot more mixing. I think I'll be probably speaking a lot more English, but we will be, um, yeah, session one now goal. Yeah, Mr. Tachun, yeah challenge documents uh, understand madragachuno like hey just this particular hour management so if anything you don't understand please just ask we don't it's not um education per se this is really a work like you got to your work and and somebody's yes at that you know um assignment right and they want to see you act you don't understand it and you go and just spend some time without understanding then yeah and uh, so make sure you ask whatever question you don't understand now about the challenge about what is being asked and anything else for that matter but you must be feeling confident and you must know exactly what it needs to be done uh, so that uh, where you have short time, like so let's so you do the best you can. Okay. So let's don't like more helping others. Okay. So if not only let us have to say on Mita Yukut, Lila Omso, none of us gilts lion let each lal, Lilo to a concept gilts lion each lal, blood stasun the yuk. And it's all about interactivity. Okay. Okay. So then I usually don't describe the challenge document. Uh, I ask people what they understand. Nathanael, share the Okay. So let's see who looks so most likely to tell challenge document. Yeah. Okay. So then who has understood and what they have the what have they understood so can you just raise your hand so the raise button in the just in the gmit is just the one with the hand sign on the buttons let's see can you raise your hand now let's uh, uh daniel is saying is that excel file uh, yes uh, then um, what is shared Nathaniel, is that excel or csv file oh no it's a csv file okay so if Daniel, if you are asking Sila Data Opona, it's a CSV file. So but can somebody um their understanding? It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be correct. It's just only what you have understood. Skim Sitaragu document just explain it in your own words so that I know how much of it but that's I've also that in the mission. So can you can someone just raise hand, you know? I, at least I will need three minimum to start. So, and I know it's your first day, but make sure, and you know, you have been, I'm sure, working in different areas. So this is another work. So make sure, uh, yeah, Daniel, thank you. Daniel, you can proceed. Hello, is Samala? I hope that Samala. Yes, I'm doing that. Yes, Samala. Xavier, Mr. Salam. Xavier, Mr. In the third dot corner, he word document so to learn. Zali data or chalu he data or he radiation measurement data la. Soon that time, the amust topic or chalu amustun bezi data masarat. Uh, okay, 
and what are and the goodbye task you mean mean the nature task you mean the material all day Python programming all day the material task because the Gita command all data understanding and exploration all day CI/CD all day because the streamlight in the land but the summa sarat in the solar radiation measurement data and detection in the next topic which in this topic which I am sorry no this is really neat yeah okay yeah so uh through now so in the city has coach and dig up who like but like so how how do you now sit down about what is the feeling you got uh and uh how do you feel on this bar of luchy the bold natural variables natural because then there's a demo description to go back to the concept on that I'll bend the summa salad yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry yeah okay uh okay thank you at least yeah give me to you like you like you like a bar challenge document yeah you assignment to two on the year come in the marriage assignment to tell me so to an assignment to tell her yeah so by you can ask a button level which is a hamus no ask how much just to be careful ask a button to let I let's see week let's see week every submission let me just check like usually for this particular week zero is you have to submit every day okay so we are not so okay not Nile the plan is for all of them to submit just once yeah yeah that's the plan yeah since okay. they have so, only yes, three days. Exactly. yeah that's true so because i think normally in week zero that we have um every day but given that this is much more what we are looking for is you demonstrate certain skill that we feel that um is suitable so there is going to be only one submission given that the short the, so that means whatever you do you submit on on thursday okay. so yeah my let the basic pass at a quarter okay no i think i'm not mistaken so uh, utc is basically plus three no mincha merbet in terms like yeah it will be a sad way so yeah, my let's cement lies in general, basically as around 11 p.m., which is kind of a little or comes to us on Saturday. Come to us, sorry. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's a good question. Anyone else? Let's say you who Lila the grilling. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Lila, so thank you. Yeah. Daniel, I'm at a photo that much one right so at least you got something clear and the same do the same yeah junior salam natural salam in the it's a task we must have meant to learn as soon as i meet me not ago yet like yeah do you want to do you want to explain your understanding so okay to add some mm -hmm. things I'm sorry, Daniel. Cover a lot of, or just repeating even the same thing as you understand it. Yes, it's a great one. That are doubt. Data learn. Yeah, data is extracted from solar radiation measurement data. Now, then data, we are meeting back up and aggregate target analysis certain. Yeah, then analysis in the mesra. It's like you meet routine. But I can't tell. Then I'm sorry. You enter on the Python learn. Tell. But like you enter on the meet routine. That I'm. Analysis certain, yana ni sara analysis. Inter magic no, yana data visualization tata kaman yana insightful yung information o chun provide magic no. Yeah, yana ni sara talk. Good, I think good understanding you know. So min like do you have questions that may that you either haven't understood or that you think might help others. Okay, like how are we going to submit uh, the task on the assignment? Yeah. yeah, that's a good question. So there, uh, you will have a link. Basically, Tenex Yamibal platform, Alan. Yeah, platform, Basically, you will. You, there will be a submission link. That means when you click it, 
then you you will go to basically submit the links because normally document report that you google drive layer got you a google drive on link it up okay. on a demo a code or two demo your guitar watch on link okay so nazan submit a regular so there will be a page that uh, that's called submission page so there will be probably an introduction on 10x like um if you haven't done if they have it, if it hasn't been done already okay thank you yeah. i understand thank you Tana. great I understand. thank you thank you junior and then Leila. So, as i said i need three people to start yeah you're selling Jerusalem, yes, Jerusalem, Abi. You are muted, yeah. Hello, Jerusalem. We can't hear you, unfortunately. Hello. Hello, yeah, now, now we can hear you. Okay, uh, I'm a second, hello. Uh, and then in the yeah, Taradosin, um, Casamatrin, and Jamara on in the Taradot, Yandan Dunaga, maybe just overview Sarago, my little like challenge overview lay more Zale Yetaradot Nagar. It's about brief description or introduction about uh, Salamin Sara project and uh, Salalo Nagaroi, Matagale, Salalo objective, Salago Luno, Sala project too. Kaza data set overview actually later Musa topic like sana bottom mo yeter doubt naga he just at the kala overview of data set na o malit la project actually tag may mission data set o chuno solar radiation measurement data leza section later mo yeter doubt naga it's more specific information about solar radiation measurement data no na da mo yao indeed no data on collect mara gumenchlo time period to cover them, you know, any specific characteristics or challenge data set to get better as a cool and minor on a game is laying up weeks topic covered the light on the new lay of the new he concept that we covered the week or two like when the more period later to the project we got the color concept of the very good to watch our team or three ms them run a car low key date was demo he did line or to garbage as a selling a project to to car uh, due date submission and the young down to nagar and tell now and one to come out of feedback and which are shown means that a feedback or reference you know more about less or area dish uh salamins are a project and now uh salal lost that as no more you must lay a little sat company back cool you know young down to a later adult nagar get moreover at yaki uh just briefly bed and begins is a lot on a linear no casual radiation gum this no means our project to choice and men didn't know uh in your point to point to me the not true uh like how we gonna make the project when this no project to me sarah or is there any introduction first and then you know the class of truth i try with a matter of python state environmental like as a cicd like as a git and git have also because all our additional garden was i think you want to confuse on you know brief expression brief explanation be said thing you know i'm second i know but excellent you have something but that's the type of question uh, that we need as well as explanation that you made it clear what you understood and then also what is confusing you and that helps most people so you know thank you so much so it's exactly so the way that so i will start from the very fundamental right the fundamental is that many of the, the, the ten academy project training is project based because we are not university nor we are not any class there is no class there is no teacher there is nothing. There's only what there is, is considered it an internship. So you are an intern and we are trying to force you to learn about how to be a data engineer, machine learning engineer, or generative AI engineer in three months. And we assume you know how to code. So you have to know, we assume you know how to code. And if you don't know, you must work you by yourself to, to code, right? Uh, I mean, it's almost impossible if you don't know how to code and if you are not if you don't spend so much time to make it in this program so let's see the very first clear model but we assume you know we assume you code our part is really to transform you 
from already you are good, but from where you are good to actually become job ready in this area. Because we have been doing that for a while and we know that somebody who's motivated, hungry, and already motivated the owner, so they can do it to learn Slam and So, as Yerusalem just said, the data is provided. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Okay, so the data is provided and um, the project is to do something, right? So in this week, so basically the idea is very clear. So you are, you are given a data, right? And um, so, okay, we haven't actually brought the objective. So unfortunately, that is not normally, okay. Um, so the objective will be written. So this is just a challenge overview, but there must be an objective. Or what we call, um, I think that's just actually, it's a business objective. So the business objective is, so in particular, so this is the, the key component, right? So you would have to, um, it's called, um, so let me just, Okay, so it is basically there is a specific i think what why maybe you got confused is because there was no uh, it was not clear what was the business objective <clears throat> so the business objective is there's a company called moonlight energy solutions and it weighs it, it basically aims to develop a strategic approach to significantly enhance its operational efficiency and sustainability through targeted solar investment yeah Malet, you are working you are the scenario um is that you are working for that company and you are helping it so and you are in this case as a uh, program coordinator but let's change that one more than that it is um so you are an analytics engineer at this company and you are supposed to perform a quick analysis of the an environment measurement provided by let's say the engineering team which has installed certain measurements these are iot's devices that collect for a couple of years um data monitor. and your goal of course as an analytics engineer your goal is to analyze and translate your observation as a strategy document in this case let's say report okay so, and your analysis should focus on identifying key trends and learn valuable insights that would support your data-driven case. That means you have to provide this case is um, um,
so so your so your case is supposed to be just a recommendation based on basically the data insights you got the statistical analysis and the eda that you performed okay in particular you are your analysis and recommendation must present a strategy focusing on identifying high potential regions for solar installations that align with the company's long-term sustainability goals the plan will evolve of course setting specific and measurable goals but this one let's not um so you are not supposed so this is the kind of two projects merged so that's why i'm removing only just the part because you have a very short time you are only focusing on the analysis and presentation okay so in this case um So basically, so this basically means is so now the business objective gives you exactly what it is there is already data the data engineering team or the engineering team has collected and they have compiled it and they have given you and as an analytics engineer you are supposed to analyze it and reinterpret your analysis and present in a slide basically what you find you have only a very short amount of time and that is that the case okay so that is one right and then the data i think jerusalem the data is already given so when you go there you will find the data and the data is just a couple of um csvs with actually columns are here the columns of the data are, are here and um then the meaning of the columns are actually on you know explained here and your role is basically just we, as I said, the first assumptions that we know you, you caught, and therefore you just open your Jupyter notebook and you start analyzing, right? But first you create actually a, like a GitHub repository because you have to push your code regularly there because you are a developer, you are not, you know, you are a technical person, okay? So, and then you develop, you do EDAs, like a number of EDAs to, to get what you want and to help you actually do the work. So the main, the main part of this is just this, the, the deliverables. But these are the tasks, specific tasks you have to perform. You can do more than that, but these are the minimum tasks that you have to do. The first is, of course, as we said, you have to have a GitHub account and you have to know how to just, uh, you know, git clone and git push. There will be a tutorial, but git clone then uh, and git add and git commit and git push you know this these are just a basic way to work in github and this is our just suggested what like folder structure so that you know you can host your notebooks your Jupyter notebooks in the notebook folder and any tests you perform you will be adding them in the tests and the scripts that you run maybe from a command line will be in the scripts and maybe in the source like again here it is not written well, let's let's add them um so let's just basically add them source or lib so just that think normally source is better because lib is actually and and this is an um these are folders okay Tests are also folders, scripts are also folders. And this is by definition, it's GitHub Actions, and this is also a folder, okay? Um, and this readme describes what's the, the, the kind of, the readme of your, um, basically about the repository. So it gives you more about the repository and the requirements is one of the Python packages that, that you want has to install to reproduce your work. And the git ignore is basically things that, for example, the data, you don't have to put it. You should not put it in the in the git. And therefore, you add basically the data folder here. OK. And so you set up this and you basically you start from like, you know, 
uh, good base. And then you start then thinking about, of course, the project planning, the tasks and the KPI. So basically the tasks are, you are supposed to, to do, the business objective is your key target, right? So you want to deliver to the moonlight some insight, right, about, you know, where to place, you know, where, where would be a good place to put the solar panels and, you know, what are the advantages? So you have to reason out, but first you have to explore the data. Therefore, that's why you need to understand the data. How is the data? What is the range? You know, what are the distributions uh, in each column and all of that? And when you do that, you, of course, have to do the statistical thinking. For example, is it a Gaussian or is it a binomial? Is it is a variable continuous or is a variable um, categorical or is a variable, you know, integer float? So you have to think about that and you have to understand. And the way that we measure or it, it will help you to measure, you know, when you are doing good, it means you are learning a lot of it by self-learn. That means by reading yourself in the internet and by sharing good references in the Slack with the community. And then also knowing, learning the EDA techniques, for example, okay, first you, you have to use, for example, Pandas. It has a lot, Psykit, it has a lot. So to try to learn and to, to use some of the techniques from that um, and, and so that you can really see patterns. For example, okay, how is the wind pattern? in season is there seasonality in the sun definitely there is and and you know how much period is is it covered for example in a year how much do you get a good amount of solar radiation and if it, whether that area is much more suitable for wind farm instead of for example solar farm things like that you you have to think that's the idea technique and so then you understand by also knowing for example is this variable distributed in gaussian form or is it binomial or some other distribution, for example? And, and you can demonstrate that by reporting, oh, it's because, you know, it's a Gaussian distribution, this variable, whether I use, for example, a Gaussian distribution, whether I use um, mean or median, it's the same, because for a Gaussian distribution like that. But if it's not Gaussian, if I use mean, it means something. It doesn't make sense because statistically that doesn't make sense. And then it will to know that you have to be able to kind of demonstrate but it's not to demonstrate to us. We, we actually measure how relevant, you know, the, the work that you have done, how relevant is it? You know, is it providing really good insight? You know, do you know how to, is, are you struggling in the coding or are you struggling in the statistical sense or are you struggling, um, let's say, in, even in understanding the work? You know, so we need to understand that. And, but for us, the really, I think, as we highlighted really, particularly in the first part, it must be a win-win. Whether you continue with us or not, it must be a win-win. That means you will learn something even in the next three days, even, you know, and therefore you should aim to work as much as you can. Okay, let me stop there and ask Jerusalem, how is it now? How does, is it better, Do you, you know, can you add more questions if something is not clear? Yob, I will come to you, but let's just, uh, Jerusalem, how now can a borrow, can do kind of better understanding and how can I understand it? Uh, he's a man, but I'm a second, 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 okay. So think of other questions also, just on the limit, I can do like in the Zakon Jotia Kyoch. Just let it alone, so I am encouraging everyone to ask. So thank you. So think of other questions so that it's even more clearer that you know exactly what not needs to be done. So, but let me go to you, but keep asking, keep thinking questions. Yo. Yeah, okay, thank you. I think someone in the chat mentioned for us to speak in English. I don't know who. Uh, um, that was the first point. Okay, so I mean, it, it just, for me, it's fine. You can you can uh, you know you can talk in every language. So, um, okay. but if there is anyone, of course, who doesn't understand English, um, we are fine. But let's for now for just this understanding for presentations, you have to do it in English and and all that. Just for this understanding, the most important part is that we understand the challenge very clearly. So you can choose whatever language you want for now. Okay. So I have two questions. The first one but, would okay, be... Okay, so let me, like, who is... 
just if, in case if there's a participant who doesn't understand Amharic, then I understand. So yeah, is there see. someone like Kelsey Wright, I think? Okay. Yeah. And, okay. It's like uh, 10 okay. chats above. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, okay, let's speak English and then, uh, yeah. But you, your question you can ask, not, not for you, but anyone. If you have a question in, in Amharic, if you, if you ask it, then I will repeat it also in English. So don't worry. Okay. Kelsey, we, we understand and then we will speak English. Go on, uh, Yop. Okay. Thank you. My first question would be that are we like, is the this particular challenge are we supposed to do it in like jupyter notebook because i see that most of like, the this kind of uh, tasks are like done in the jupyter notebook um, side of it so are we gonna be part of adding anaconda environment in this that's my first question my second question would be um, that, so what, what alternative are you thinking like if for example not that if you are no, if I, you are thinking of like yeah, when collab, search, collab, whatever, that's fine. I'm yes. we're fine with it. Also, when we are submitting our like Git, uh, when we push our project, is it gonna yeah. be just a Python uh, code or is it gonna be the Jupyter notebook uh, file? So because oh, there yeah. are, these are two types of uh, uh, files, and Jupyter notebook has its own like documentation uh, way that we can do it step by step. Are is this gonna be that kind of documentation? Yeah. Or you you can import, you can, for example, you can write things in, 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 in Jupyter Notebook for analysis. But for example, once you write a code, once you can put it in a script, in a, you know, in a class, in a Python class and put it in your source and import it so that you can use it again and again. We are encouraging that. And then when you push, you push everything, right? You push the codes that are relevant. So both Jupyter Notebook, Python and other, other what, what you are using. Okay, so my second question would be uh, on task one, uh, on the minimum essential essentials to do, there are yeah. like histograms uh, that we have to plot. So yeah. additionally in task two also like we also have to visualize it. So what's the difference between those two? Uh, it is very really much difference. The only thing is that here you, you start understanding the data. This is more to understand the data. The other one is to tell your understanding so here you might do a lot more and then you choose what is good and then you show it to the world right so so this part of the eda or eda is exploratory data analysis for those so this is basically it's to you your first i think there will be also introduction about this um, CRISPM methodology in data analysis in general, there are certain frameworks, and one of them, the most common, is it's called CRISPM, and it basically means first you must have a business objective. You have a business objective. I mean, you can't just do data analysis without business objective, and the business objective must be very clear to you. So that means what are you doing, and for what are you doing, right? Without that question, there's no business there's no analysis I mean, it doesn't make sense it's a waste of time you have a business objective that is there right you are trying to help um you're trying to be basically as an analytics engineer you are trying to create insight from a, a solar radiation data where to invest and so that means it gives you a very clear business objective you know the business objective is all your analysis should be focused to help us understand which sites are better to invest or which sites are better, for example, uh, to install wind, uh, solar farms. And in principle, you can, you know, from the data, whatever that helps Moonlight Energy Solutions to do that effectively and optimize its thing and get the, the most out of its investment, that's your objective. Okay, so the business objective is clear. And the next part is, of course, in this CRISPM framework to actually then understand the data. So understand the data and explore the data are two things. Understand the data means does the data, so the first part is that does the data quality enough to achieve the, the target, which is the business objective. So it's about really to say, you know, do we have enough data? Is the data quality? That means are there so many, you know, uh, missing values? I can give you a data, but it's empty. 
or I can give you the data, but it's not really well measured. Maybe the accuracy is bad, you know, things like that. So you then understand the data, whether this data actually is able to answer the business objective. That means whether it's sufficient. For example, if I only gave you just a data about the country population of these three countries, you know, that doesn't tell you about whether to put in that country, you know, in those three countries, whether, uh, you know, the data is not sufficient, right? It doesn't tell you about the sun. It doesn't tell you, maybe it tells you about policy, but that's it. But all you, you what you need to actually do this thing is actually a measurement. And therefore you might say, okay, a population data or a demographic data is not really suitable for to answer the business objective. So you stop there saying like, okay, you know, the, the business objective is doing this. But the data that is provided or the data we have is only demographic data, which is not able to answer that. Maybe from selling perspective, it might, for example, who are going to be the consumers? Do they need solar energy, whatever? The demographic data that might help you, but it doesn't help you the, the rest, right? So for that reason, um, you that's the data understanding. You understand the data towards whether it is able to answer the objective or not. Once you pass that step, there is then the, the actually data exploration, or normally it's called exploratory data analysis. That is for, you know, it's to actually then gain insight, valuable insight from just basically exploring the data. And in that part, what you are trying to answer is much more, okay, how should I classify? How should I clean? How should I model? How should I, you know, do such that I can get you know, close to the, just by exploring only good insights, patterns, seasonalities, and things like that. So that is the part that you're going to do here, like on the, sorry, on the task two. So this part is a very much data explorator and you, there's so much things you will try to do so that you can get, you know, the data understanding, we gave you the data, you know, you can take it on us. Okay. The data is sufficient to answer the objective. So let's imagine we have done that part for you. But the other part is to, ex to do exploratory data analysis so that you can actually then get insight. Now, once you get insight, when you are about to tell the story, your own story, the, the finding, your finding, then you do a dashboard. But in the dashboard, of course, you choose, you know, the pictures or the image or the plots that, that you want to tell the story with, right? So you will not put everything. You probably will choose something that actually tells okay this pattern means this because of this we are able to get this so that's a, the part so the story making is the dashboard so then you have to analyze and it should be you know of course good enough and and tell a story there okay now is that clear Yo. yes very sufficient oh. okay great any other question and anyone and as i said i i am driven only by questions so if you don't ask i will ask you you understand and i said good luck so uh, as is, i think in part we almost in all 10 academy we use utc so everyone has to learn the utc just it's eat plus three sorry uh utc plus three is eighty. so that means utc eight is basically utc plus three Okay, Betty, Betty Faisa. Betty, you are muted if you are speaking. We can't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, thank you for the chance. So my question is, are we supposed to perform the analysis for the three countries individually? Or... Uh, it's a good question. Yes, because the data is normally, you know, it's not, it's given as separate. So you can do yes. separate analysis. And, and then if you want, you can also correlate it. You know, how correlated are the sense between, you know, the, uh, the wind or the sun measurement, but that's additional. So it's, you know, yes, it's good. It's a bonus. You know, you, you should almost always satisfy your curiosity to get more insight. Um, but the requirement is this, you do, you do analysis, all of them independently and then between correlations between parameters so that you can learn more. And then based on that, 
kind of tell a story whether you know how good is it to invest in that country or should we put you're trying to answer the business objective so your report should be about the business objective you know which country is for example better and why and which data is it supporting and you know have you explored the data such that you uncovered some hidden insight or just even the plain insight what is so you do it independent but you compare them when you present okay okay thank you sir okay thank you betty yeah any other i think these are great questions and i'm really already liking the you know the this part i think they are great questions and we are getting clearer so please contribute to your cohort by asking questions that are not clear to you because whenever when something is not clear to you it may not be clear to other people as well other questions that could help the yoke yeah yeah so my question is who would be the direct line of contact if we have a problem along the way so normally the slack we are there it's not just we give you a challenge and good luck it's a community learning um, and maybe in the introduction if they haven't given you they will give you that this is a community learning as well as self-learning that means you learn on your own but the community is there to assist you all the time that means our policy is that if you write a question in five minutes you'll get um you know way mostly way before five minutes but in five minutes you'll get an answer so you just should share ask questions exactly like this in slack as well but Nat Nile, like there are um, tutors who are dedicated to this team. So especially that you have um, Yaya and you have Radit um, and Kerod uh, as well. And Nat Nile is the lead tutor, but also for other things, something is not clear, then, um, then uh, you will have the whole team supporting you. So yeah. So Makhidda in particular is your cohort lead. So that means she can, for everything else that is not technical, you can ask her. And then there are also non-technical, uh, which means those who, who give you problems with respect to like teamwork, community work, and many others. So there are other team members. So they are here. If they haven't introduced themselves already, they would introduce themselves. Yeah. Is that clear, Yop? Yes, thank you. Yeah, and Balkidan, great question. You asked a good question whether it is necessary. Normally, as a data engineer, as an analytics engineer, you know, machine learning engineer, you don't. Yes, it's good. You will develop the domain knowledge um, as, as you work on. So it's a, it's a very good question. For very complex, for example, for surgery data, you still can do because you are a data engineer or an analytics engineer. You're not gonna you're not be able to perform surgery but you can analyze how many times failures happen in surgery and what are the the, the main causes of failure or you know something in surgery is it a power cut or is it just the doctors are not good so as a data to do that in the data analysis and find patterns you don't need to be a surgeon even a surgeon won't do it it's a data engineer or an analytics engineer or machine learning engineer whose task is to do that so you have to learn of course for the data you might not understand what a wind measurement is right so that means you have to learn what that is for example about dhi dni ghi all of these that are direct normal radiance horizontal radiance you have to just learn quickly what they are you know whether they're relevant what is more relevant you know how is just this power is measured you know like is it very relevant you have to do quick search, but you don't have to be an uh, expert. It's just things that you learn. That's what's called self-learn. As a data, you know, working as a kind of data scientist, data engineer, machine learning engineer, analytics engineer, all of that, you have to learn on the fly and discover patterns. Does that make sense? If it is not, please ask uh, if it doesn't make sense, Calpita. But most of the meaningful insights, whether it's in finance or agriculture or in uh, medicine or whatever, is done by, of course, dead, mostly data people. Some of them, sometimes you study maybe, you know, agriculture and you might then switch to 
become analytics engineer. And that will help you, of course, your search time is minimized because you understand the technology, the, the kind of the area, but it's not necessary. It's a good to have, not a must have. Does that address your question, Kalkita? Great. Other questions that I think you, you, I think there is already a good vibe. Please just, if something is not clear, because if we leave it this way, then that means I assume that everybody is clear. Now they're going to just get in, you know, start grinding. Okay, uh, Nadia, if you want to speak slightly just to explain where you want more, that would be great. Otherwise, I can continue with the question that you asked. Should I continue or do you want to elaborate a little bit? Okay, um, at least you, you you guys type, right? If I ask you a question, even if you, you are, maybe you are in a place where you can't speak, you can't talk, all of these are understandable. So don't bother, but just you, you could type as well, just um, to answer. Okay, Nadia, so the, so the difference between, um, so the explore data understanding and exploratory data, you, it, it basically means it's the most confusing part of when, especially in the crisp game methodology. So the, the crisp game methodology is just a framework, like any framework, right? It helps you to, to basically, you know, just one of the very simple, um, um, I'm just going to, Okay, so this is basically just what is a crisp DM normally. So this is just a framework, how to think of the whole analysis, data analysis, okay? So it always starts from business understanding. As I said earlier, without business objective, there is nothing. So you must have a business objective to start analysis. Our business objective is very clear. Then there is something called data understanding. In the data understanding earlier, as I mentioned, it is that part of whether the data that you have at hand, whether that is able to answer the business objective. So that part is very much, as you can see, it's all about whether our data, as I said earlier, if you have demographic data, and I, I ask you about whether, where should we invest, where should we make a uh, solar farm? You know, the demographic data might tell you about the business part of solar farm but it doesn't tell you really to select the right location you know to to put solar farm so you might come back and tell me like okay you know you gave me this data but the business objective really needs another type of data not just the demographic data and then i go and i give you okay measure from the engineering department i give you the data that we have now now you look at it and say like okay great you know for for my business objective, I need actually exactly solar radiations. How much of a year there is solar amount? What is the power of, you know, in that location? Is there enough, enough, uh, uh, enough solar radiation? And also for my placing, for example, the solar panels, if it's too much wind, maybe it's bad for the solar, you know, for the solar farm. So, you know, based on this and that humidity, if it's too much humid, maybe operation wise, you know, that's bad. So. Then you look at the data and say like, okay, but you know, great. The data is good enough. I will work with it. Now that is the data understanding. Now you go from that data understanding to data preparation. The data preparation or data exploration is the part where you are learning as much as possible without before even any modeling. Of course, even to, uh, to prepare the data, sometimes you need to model, but you do some kind of EDA insights. You learn really clearly about we know what are the insights, the patterns, anything. And what we are asking you is to do this, the data preparation part, or basically the, the EDA or exploratory data analysis. But after that, maybe for projecting, and if you have modeling, you know, applying some machine learning models, AI models, deep learning models, whatever models, you do some kind of modeling. 
and then of course models means always it's you have evaluation and once then you do deployment so this is basically the whole framework of a data analysis and we gave you the business understanding of the business objective we told we tell you or we gave you enough explanation that the data actually supports the business objective and your part is this data preparation in data preparation you have many things including dashboard building visualization storytelling as well as exploratory data analysis all belongs to this data preparation okay i hope that is clear an idea yeah do we need to do submit the python code or do we also write a document that includes insights so because there's only one submission, you write a code based on code you analyze, but then, yes, you have to prepare a PDF document that includes insights, plots, whatever you report, basically. So the submission is a report and a code. The link to your GitHub, just that's sufficient, and uh, a report. I hope, Marta, that is clear. Okay, great. Any other question? Anything that's not clear to, you know, anything that is not clear to start your work. If so, any other question, of course you can ask and uh, Slack as we go. Okay, I've been, I've been, uh, or I've been, uh, after finishing my assignment, is pushing it to GitHub sufficient for submission. We, we, would, we would look at how often you push Git, your pod to Git. So make sure to not just only push at the end, but as frequent as possible. So, you know, basically, push at least a minimum, let's say, three times a day. So, I mean, just, and then yes, just once you push to Git, and then in the submission portal, you add the, you know, you basically give us the link to your GitHub, that's sufficient, that's all. I hope that's clear, Aben. If not, you can also raise your hand and ask. Okay. Great, guys. Therefore, I think based, because of some people really out of their comfort zone, they come in and ask questions. Everybody, I hope, benefited. I hope you will return your also favor by asking more questions in Slack as well as also in the standups. No, it's like for, for actual uh, uh, report, it's either a slide a presentation or a report. So I think whatever is written. So is that the final report? Um, yeah, in the format, either presentation or just report. So whichever you probably, it, it will be specified clearly, but that's the case. So it's not, the report must be just a report written well, as if you know you are reporting to your line manager. Okay. Like for example, to the team lead in your company in, in you know, just reporting your insights, your findings. Cool. Okay. Uh, Tamne? Hello. Hello. Everyone. Hi, yes, everyone. Hi. Hi, Tamne. Okay. Uh, is there any video showing how to submit our assignment? Th there Similar will be. Yes, there Similar will be. Uh, yes, there will be not only video, but there will be also a session where they show you exactly, demonstrate how to submit okay yeah thank you thanks for the question yeah okay and then abraham can you give us example project link in github related to this assignment i mean i'm not sure if that is i mean example i mean it's just basically you know any for example if i have uh if you have developed this for example package as part of let's say you know as part of the you know imagine you are the one who developed this this part yeah that that means that would be the link to your github repository so in you know that's a link an example link but in this case it's a, somebody's work right so it should be your work and for this project i hope that is clear abraham and then you who what should our final submission look like? I mean, is there a way, any evaluation criteria? Yes, there is evaluation criteria. Mostly we would look at your code, whether it is actually a good code, it, did it, is it modular, 
Is it written well? And then also we look at your in the insights you discovered. For example, did you in uncover insights that are useful for the business objective? Is your statistical understanding good? Um, and, and so the objectives are like that. And is your report good quality? You know, like that, will it be presented to a team or not? So these are the, let's say, the real uh, evaluations we look at. I hope you own that's clear. So we really look at just a very basic, like because it's at work, so you 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 basically tell us this is what you do, and we look at that. Okay, Yuhun, that's great. Maybe explain more. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Minute, uh, I number, Mister. Just there is a perform exploratory analysis, exploratory exploratory data analysis and Sarah. Uh, key performance indicator or the more summary statistics data quality check time series analysis mami tabalu mun tawqachu negoroch yalunna submit min adergaw code entin just doesn't calculate mean median madregu missing value chin identify madregu no madreg code no submit min adergaw arilla but no it, that one is a guidance we okay. actually are going to look at so the what is written is a guidance what we are looking at is like you know, how are you going to perform in real life? In real work, like an internship, your, as I said, your team lead might tell you, okay, do this, this. But ultimately, if you just only do what, okay, calculate mean median, you have to do that, but you have to understand it as well. And when you understand it, it means, okay, the mean, okay, maybe there is a missing value. So should I, you know, should I drop the missing value or should I fill the missing value? You have to do your, your part. You know, it's not just only, that does this or that. That's the minimum possible. You know, if you yeah, really are, if you are really not able to think anything, you can do that. But the most important part is, can you do data, you know, data exploratory analysis? And yeah, I think what yeah, we are right. looking, exactly, yeah. Uh, I, uh, what I mean is that uh, uh, we'll just uh, understanding understanding that you know, as a PDF or as a, some document, right argon, as a bandlangan. GitHub repository actually post an argo and as in listed the robot and another rush perform another go on database man code business when it is actually when you know it's the Jupyter notebook you are gonna submit should show us what you did right okay. so okay you got mean and then you probably explored okay whether the mean was you know properly done whether it has none or not you know so we are looking at how you do even the Jupyter notebook we're not just going to be like, okay, the code, because it does mean it's fine. It's not that. It, we look at how, you know, how you performed everything together. You know, th those are guidelines. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. So Mr. this, this, the, whatever we give you is guideline so that it helps you, you know, step by step go through because you don't have to, you have a very short amount of time. You might not be creative to, to do that, but while you do that, we assume you are interested in, in answering the business objective. So the guideline is just the guideline, but the whole point of this analysis is to answer the business objective. Ultimately, you have to, from all the, the work that you do, you have to understand, okay, you know, where should we invest? Where should it be the solar farm better? You know, should it be in, in uh, I think the countries are like as mentioned. So what are the countries? It is the, um, uh, Sierra Leone, Benin, Sierra Leone, or Togo, right? So there are the, the, the data that is given are in these three places. So you, you're going to be looking at like, okay, you know, should it be in Benin, Sierra Leone? What is why? What is the advantage? Is the mean solar uh, radiation in Benin better? Or is it just that in certain seasons, maybe should I divide it by season so that, you know, on these seasons I get more, things like that. But you you for all of them you might do you might be doing mean right or yeah, you might be yeah. doing some variance but it's that that up that part okay thank you okay thank that's you, a good question good question i hope so many people are helped by it because of that question okay great and yeah i hope that is very clear for everyone because the questions have stopped so let's stop here as well the recording and whoever missed the this call can watch, of course, back the videos that is recorded 
or if if you forget something and you want to remember from this conversation you can go back also watch so we will share the link uh, the video upload you know downloaded or the video recorded will be uh, uploaded in youtube and the, the youtube link will be shared and um, soon okay great thanks guys and happy you know as i as i said we will be in slack so whatever questions just um ask ask there okay for now let's stop it here thanks everyone bye and then academy team please stop the recording